Okay. <clears throat> it is politics time. It is indeed politics time. So, I'm going to say a name that will make a lot of people go, oh boy. And that is the name of Caitlyn Jenner. Everybody's least favorite or most favorite conservative trans person trans woman like what the fuck okay jesus here we go it gets bad everybody caitlin jenner wants a commission to determine which trans girls are truly trans she appears to have taken her third position on the question of whether transgender girls should be treated equally in school sports Caitlyn Jenner said she wants to put together a state commission to determine on a case-by-case -case basis if trans girls are truly trans enough to play school sports. What I would do as governor, I would put together a commission, she said, on Fox News. And trans women who are truly trans, who at a very young age, you know, started proper medical treatment. They've grown up as girls, of course. They should be able to complete, compete in girls' sports. She appears to have taken her third position on the question of whether transgender girls should be treated equally in school sports. Jenner was for it when she gave a speech in 2015, but then came out against trans girls participating in school sports earlier this year after she announced that she was running in the recall election to replace California Governor Gavin Newsom. This is a question of fairness, she told TMZ several weeks ago. That's why I oppose biological boys competing in girls sports in school. It just isn't fair. Now, real quick, a quick fact check. We've done this section a million times before. That is not true. That is simply not true. Um, basically, every possible physical advantage that a biological male um, could have um, evaporates within approximately one year of hormones. So this is a non-issue. Uh, secondly, additionally... School sports aren't about perfect, equal competition. In fact, this is accepted as a part, especially of high school sports. In high school, people go through puberty at different times and at different rates. And yet, in, in high school, all people who go through puberty at different points go, all go onto the football team and play. High school sports aren't fair as it currently stands because they're not really about fairness. High school sports are about learning teamwork, perseverance. They're about learning basic techniques for, for athletics. They're about staying fit. They're about meeting people, making friends, learning how to show up to things on time. They're about life skills and exercise. They're not about fairness or medals. So, and we know this, again, because we put people at varying levels of puberty on the same teams in high school. So, it is not a question of fairness. That's fake. That's fucking fake. It's fucking fake news. Fake news. So let's continue and hear what else Caitlyn Jenner has to say. Fox host Dana Perino played that interview clip and asked Jenner why her position changed from her previous support. You'll notice I did not say in that statement trans women, Jenner responded, referring to the TMZ interview. I said biological boys. What I would do as governor, I would put together a commission, she said, that, that the Olympics and NCAA have strict regulations about transgender athletes, but high schools have no guide rules. There's no rules and regulations. There, yes, because high school sports are about teamwork learning life skills and exercise they're not the olympics the olympics are the world class competition of sports very different organization completely different Tram trans women who are quote unquote truly trans who at a very young age you know started medical treatment they've grown up as as girls of course they should be able to compete in girls sports but some guy who hasn't done any therapy who hasn't done anything there has to be a review board this is transphobia this is transphobic this is transphobic saying that somebody who hasn't met your random standard 
is a guy, that is transphobia. Raw transphobia. I would be the first governor to put together a review board to review each case. A literal trans inquisition. I'm not kidding you. Jenner then said that it's such a small issue. I would be surprised if there's 30 trans athletes in the entire state. Of California? What? Are you insane? And the answer is, of course, yes. This is an insane proposition. Absolutely insane proposition. Totally insane proposition. Let's continue. <clears throat> Fox host Bill Hemmer. Bill Himmler? Pressed her on why her opinion changed since 2015. Okay, this is repeating itself. Okay, this article is a little bit circular. Even among Republicans, only 13% say they'd be inclined to vote for her. Oof. Oof. Wow, that's... Oh, there you go. That right, this this should, somebody should fucking, no, they shouldn't. I hope, I hope that Blair White reads this. This is how it goes. You, Republic, Republicans will not support you if you're trans, even if you agree with them. They don't believe in it. They don't believe in it. New emote just dropped? Oh, shit. For real? Wait, real shit? Oh my god, that's Pog. That's fucking Pog. Hold on, let me bring it up. Oh my god, that's Pog! This is so Pog! What the fuck? Okay, this is so Pog, I'm gonna interrupt the segment. Oh my god. This is so fucking Pog. Look! I love it. Oh, we're definitely we're definitely getting this one. Hold on, I gotta save this. I have a whole bunch. Oh my god. Wow. Anyway. <clears throat> oh yeah, by the way. Oh fuck. What a fucking piece of shit. Also. Look, if you don't think that Caitlyn Jenner is just Blair White, look, look. This was re this was reshared by fucking by fucking Caitlyn Jenner. By the way, Caitlyn Jenner fucking reshared this shit. What a piece of shit. So, yeah, this is a short segment, but this shit is ridiculous. And the idea that we're going to have fucking children, children's genital inspections so that Caitlyn Jenner can feel special is not only, like, astronomically selfish and self-centered, but also incredibly, incredibly fucked up. Just absolutely incredibly fucked up. Whew. You're, you're not wrong, Dan Starlight. Yep. Oh, I'd like to do that someday in the future, i.e. drywall. Yeah, by her own standards. Well, of course, but but Jenner, Caitlyn Jenner's attitude has always been, fuck you, I got mine. That is, that is Caitlyn Jenner's attitude. Caitlyn Jenner's 100%, just fuck you, I got mine. And, and by the way, this is highly Blanchardian. You notice how I've been talking about Blanchard a lot, and I've been pointing out that there's a lot of things that still operate off of Blanchardian obsession, um, um, assumptions? Case in point. This is key Blanchard. The idea that there are true trans people who are trans from the moment that they're, like, born, and then there are fake trans people who are perverts is Blanchard. Still echoing through our society to this day. It's very much still alive. It's less, it's not as, it is not as pop, it is not as what far spread in medical communities anymore, thank God, but it is still around. Yeah, Blanchard, uh, Ray Blanchard, piece of shit. You put, put trans people behind in this country really hardcore. 
Oh, they have. They have Jessica Metal. It's just, yeah. I know it's really bad, Lady Kilgana. That's literally, I mean, Mix Capulet, that's literally what Blanchard said. Mix Capulet says, and you can tell the real ones because they're conventionally attractive. Go read, if you don't believe me, go read Blanchard's actual studies. He said that. He actually said that. He actually argued that that one of the ways you could tell if somebody was true trans was because they would try harder to pass. Which means they would pass better. I'm not kidding you. I'm, I'm not kidding you. That was real. The things our trans elders had to put themselves through. I know. I know. It's fucked. And yes, they are. <laughs> True, Soma. True, Soma. <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> Choking on my own spit. Nice. Nice. Yeah, people like Caitlyn Jenner would want me, would, would want people like me to just basically not be able to live public life. So bad. The decades and decades of unimaginable harm that Blanchard did? Yeah, I'm serious. I'm dead serious. You have no idea how mentally fucked Blanchard's dichotomy, uh, how, how, how much it fucked people mentally. So bad. So goddamn bad. How's my Spanish going? Very slowly. Very slowly. Who's Blanchard? Ray Blanchard is a doctor who came up with a anti with a a pseudoscientific categorization of trans women. And because he was the only person doing the research um at the time, and he basically played on prejudice really hardcore, it was accepted and and made its way into lots and lots of medical communities. But it was from its get from the get-go. And, like, stupidly anti-scientific. I am learning Spanish slowly. Yep, Espanol. Yep. That's that's who Ray Ray Blanchard is. Correct. See. Mm hmm. We talk about him relatively frequently because his his um, his legacy has been horrible. That's the autogynophilia. Yeah, that's him. He came up with that term. He believed there were two types of trans people, real trans people and what he called autogynophiles who were per basically in his mind perverts. And it's not correct. It's not true. His science has been debunked for 30 years. But unfortunately, when stuff like that gets out of hand, um, when stuff like that gets out of hand, it's very hard to put it back in the box. A Blanchardian therapist is like conversion therapy without the God part. You're basically, yes. And you can go find somebody else. Just if you, if you find out your therapist is a Blanchardian, find somebody else. I'm serious. They will ruin your fucking mind. Their assumptions are so goddamn bad. They're so fucking bad. They're so goddamn bad. You watch Contra's video on that today as a resource to send to, to your parents when you come out? Yeah. It's a good video. I did not know where that term came from him, and I've worried so much about being that or something like it. I know it's just anxiety, but still it hurts. Listen, um, Eddiard, it's literal pseudoscience. It's complete bunk. You don't even worry about it. And guess what? Even if it did exist, it wouldn't matter because the, the solution, and this was what was followed up on by even people who agreed with Blanchard, is that both, both types should transition anyway. So even Blanchardians recognize that their thing is bullshit. It's just bullshit. So don't worry about it. You can let go of it. It is debunked pseudoscientific nonsense.
Isn't his work considered pseudoscience by many? Yes, it is pseudoscience. Under Caitlin's own standards, she wouldn't be a true trans. Yes. Uh, yes. That is one of them. That is the great irony is that she would not have passed Blanchard's Blanchard's. She would not have ended up on the on the true trans part of the Blanchard dichotomy. But weirdly enough, Blanchard has been somewhat uh, somewhat friendly with Caitlyn Jenner. Weird how that works, huh? Weird how, uh, you know, you're willing to look the other way when it's a political thing. Blanchard is super. By the way, Blanchard is incredibly unethical. That's another thing. Incredibly fucking unethical. Yeah, he designed it basically. I mean, he. I don't know that he. I don't know about the intentionality, but the design was to make basically just to further stigma against certain types of trans people. Yeah, Blanchard isn't dead. Nope, Blanchard is still alive. He's he's he posts on Twitter. He fucking posts on Twitter. Oh, cool. I will read that in the future. Thank you. Yeah, he's a fucking Twitter poster. It's horrible. Yeah, unfortunately. Yep. Yep. Uh, nuts. Uh, maybe, but not at the time. At the time, there wasn't any theories. Those theories were, were just developing at the time that he did this stuff. A trans friend suggested quite recently that I might be an autogynophile since I'm attracted to femme people. It still echoes in my mind. Akleja, Akleja, look at look at the camera, okay? Akleja, look at me. That is bullshit. It is pseudo scientific bullshit. It is not. It is not accepted by anyone. It was pseudo scientific when it came out. It's pseudo scientific now. It's bullshit. It came from a fucking jerk-off sexologist who fancied himself a psychologist. It's literally made up, and it's also fucking stupid. And guess what? Who cares? If you like women, you like women. That doesn't make you any less trans. It's literally fucking stupid. I don't know if he is still licensed, actually. We will have a honk. Yes, we absolutely will, Elac. Nope, we're about to do the Q topic. Yeah, it's a P. Yeah, yeah. Because he, he, he's not a medical doctor. Yes, that was another thing, Satariel. He didn't control. Um, and a later study, real um, uh, another study revealed that um, that basically all like basically all women are technically autogynophiles. Yep, you go ahead and clip that, Akleja. It's it's full of shit. You don't ever let that block you. And here's the here's the hot take. Ready? Here's the here's the other take. The the Chad take. The da 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 da. This guy, fucking Giga Chad. Ready for the Giga Chad cha take? Watch this. Ready? Hold on. I'm gonna I'm about to drop the Giga Chad take. Hold on. Wait. No. Here we go. We ready? Giga Chad take incoming. Incoming. Guess what? Even if Blanchard was right, it still wouldn't matter. Oh shit. Oh shit. Because there's nothing wrong with being weird. At worst, you're weird. That's it. There's nothing wrong with that. Fuck. Who cares? Yep. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter even if he was right. He's not. He's dead wrong. His science is not science. It's bullshit. Um, but, uh, but yeah, wouldn't matter. <laughs>